Are you a driver for Uber, Lyft, or any of the gig platforms? Are you making money or are you actually paying to drive? That's what we're talking about right now. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and this is Real Ride Share Stories. And today we're going to be talking about a lot of the hidden costs associated when driving for Uber, Lyft, or any of the other gig platforms. Because what you make on your income isn't always what you're going to make when it comes to everything after taxes, expenses, and a lot of people may not realize or see that they're actually spending money in order to drive. The problem is companies like Uber and Lyft and any of the gig platform companies out there, they are saying that you could make $25, $30 an hour, but they're not factoring in all of the expenses that is associated when it comes to using your vehicle for making money. And all of that expense goes to you, the gig worker, not to the companies themselves. So you have to account for all of that. And then you couple that with the wear and tear, the expenses, the gas, a lot of the costs associated with driving, that's only going to be amplified because you're using your vehicle much more than the average person. And if you don't have good practices or good strategies on how to make money, when to go out, when the best times are, you could actually be losing money when you're out trying to make money. So we're going to take a look at this article right here. And it's titled, I paid $250 to drive for Lyft last year. Link is going to be in the description below. So if you want to check this out, you can. There's a lot of great information. And I probably will be making another video kind of breaking down a lot of the costs associated with driving for Uber, Lyft, and any of these other gig platforms to see if it might be something that's going to continue being worth it for you or even getting into the gig economy itself just some things to think about if you're brand new and evaluating it for yourself. So make sure you stay tuned and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. Now, quick disclaimer, this is talking about 2019 tax returns because this article was actually made at the very end of 2020, but rates continue to drop year over year. And that means you have to drive more in order to make either the same amount or even slightly less than what you may have made the year prior. And many drivers who have been driving for several years have been seeing that. And Lyft also announced that many drivers across the entire country are getting pay cuts because they were actually making more than the standard rate card because they've been driving for several years. And now they're trying to get away from that and have everybody at the same level. Now, going to the article itself, right here is the biggest thing that I want to show, and that is mileage. How many miles you're driving and the IRS deduction, because that is gonna be your base point really on how much money you're either making per year or spending per year. And unfortunately, a lot of drivers just don't pay attention to that or don't realize it when they're really doing it. And yeah, there's drivers out there who are spending money in order to drive for Uber, Lyft, or any of these other gig platforms. So that's not necessarily going to be the best thing because you're not actually profiting, you're spending money. And that is one of the problems when it comes to some of these gig platforms and also just not having the right strategies in place when you're out on the road. So after looking at your yearly income and also then the different deductions and the IRS standard mileage deduction, that's where you're getting the ability to tell if you're actually spending money or making money on the road. And then also we're going to compare it to what he did the year prior because it's showing that not only is the pay starting to go down, but you're also having to drive more, which is pushing up expenses. And that means now many more drivers are actually paying to drive for Uber and Lyft or these other companies and may not realize that they are. So going for 2019, gross income, pre-expense income for both apps was around 29,272. Using the IRS's 58 cent per mile reimbursement fee and writing off a portion of the cell phone bill totals out to about 29,500. So last year, it technically paid about $250 to work. 
So going back in comparison the year prior, in 2018, earned about 22,729 in gross income via ride sharing, but had only driven 32,000 miles for that year. So you may have made about $6,500 less, but you also put on 18,000 more miles between the years from 32,000 to 50,000. So in 2018, the IRS reimbursement rate was 54 and a half cents per mile, putting you around 17,500 in expenses, which meant the profit last year was a little bit over $5,000. So you might be asking yourself, why is this significant? And it can kind of show you because like I said, over the years, Uber and Lyft's rates have gone from a decent rate and every single year they start going down. And that means you have to drive more in order to make what you may have made the year prior or to whatever your goal is. And sometimes a lot of people might not realize that they're actually spending money in order to drive to try to make money. And wrapping up, I think this is a, a great wrap up here. So it says, for many, driving for one of the ride hailing services isn't worth it. It's very easy to run a car into the ground and still come out with no money, barely able to make ends meet. For others, doing a few hours a month or so for some extra cash will have a negligible effect on their car's value or maintenance routine, so it makes sense for them. It's easy to get seduced by the feeling of having instant cash in your hands, neglecting to do the math to see the whole venture made any sense. For some, this is the only option they've got, and cash in hand is better than no cash at all. Anyway, whatever you do, make sure you count the costs before you get out there. Now, each person is going to be different on what their needs are, what their goals are, but you also have to make sure you stay realistic when it comes to all of these different factors. Yeah, it's great to go out and make maybe $100, $200 a day, depending on how long you're driving for, but it does come at a cost, and the thing is, are you actually making that money or are you just transferring it from depreciation into cash? And some people are depreciating their vehicles faster than how much they're making. So again, pay attention to what it is out there. Now, I have been driving for these companies over the last several years on and off, and it's still been profitable for me based on the strategies that I use, the times that I go out, being selective on some of the rides that I take and planning ahead for that particular night, time frame, week, whatever it might be, it's actually continued to become profitable. The only difference is I have seen that profit start to dwindle over time, meaning the amount that I profit versus the amount that I don't profit has been shrinking over years because of these continued pay rates, because of other factors like more drivers on the road and not as much demand but there's a lot of different strategies out there still where it can be profitable. Now, I'm not saying don't drive. I'm not saying go out and drive. I'm just saying make sure you pay attention to when you do drive, if you do drive, because that's going to tell you if it's going to be profitable for you or not. And I would always suggest make sure it's as profitable for you as it can. But if it is a last resort type of thing, go out and do what you need to do and make that money. Now, I want to know what your thoughts are. First off, have you seen your profit kind of shrink over the years? Have you actually paid money in order to drive for Uber and Lyft like this particular person in the article did or not? And what are your thoughts just overall when it comes to that? Comment below, let us know. All right, that's the end of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers. And we'll see you next time.